Welcome my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to do standard deviation linear regression using three different techniques. First using detailed pen and paper method, second using your FX A2 to MS calculator and third using a shortcut technique. So let's start. Our question is the scores of two batsmen X and Y in 10 innings during a season are given below. These are the scores during 10 innings by a batsman X and these are the scores during 10 innings by batsman Y. Our question is find out which batsman was more consistent in scoring. Our first method for that we have to find out the AM or arithmetic mean for batsman X. AM is represented by X bar for X and Y bar for Y. So X bar is given by sum all X values divided by number of samples. Here number of samples are 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is 460 by 10 is 46. Next construct the table. Write all X values vertically column wise. These values construct the second column which is X minus X bar whole square. I will show you X is 32 for the first value minus X bar 46 whole square and press equals to that is 196. Next 28 minus 46 whole square. That is T24. Similarly, construct the whole table. Next, sum. This symbol is called summation symbol. Sum all x minus x bar whole square values. Summing all the values, you will get 6500. So, the standard deviation for x is given by root over sum of x minus x bar whole square values divided by number of samples. So, that is root over 6500 divided by 10 equals to 25.495. For y, same process, y bar equals to sum all y values divided by 10, which is 50. And then write all y values in the left column and the right column, y minus y bar whole square. Same process also for y. So standard deviation for y is 24.429. This was using detailed method. Next, using your calculator. To enter into regression mode, press this mode and 3 for regression, 1 for linear regression and enter the data in pairs 32, 90, 32, comma 19 and enter the data by M plus button. Next 28, comma 31, 47, comma 48. 63 comma 53 71 comma 67 39 comma 90 10 comma 10 60 comma 62 96 comma 40 and 14 comma 80 if you want to change any value using the joystick up, y10 is 80 and x10 is 14. If you want to change to 16, enter the corrected value and press equals to. So x10 is now 16. To change it, again enter the corrected value and press equals to. It's again corrected to 14. So let's proceed to our statistic mode. Press shift and 2 and 2 for standard deviation and press equals to the answer for x is 25.495 which you obtained earlier similarly for y shift and 2 joystick right and 2 for y equals to 24.429 isn't it easy using a calculator? Now I will give you a brief overview of the statistics mode in this calculator. Press shift and 2. Here you can find out x bar or mean of x, then population standard deviation of x by option 2, option 3, sample standard deviation of x, press joystick right, mean of y, population standard deviation of y, sample standard deviation of y. A and B are 
regression coefficients, R is the correlation coefficients and X and Y bar represents the estimated values of X and Y. Another mode, press shift and 1. Here is the summation mode. The summation of all X square values, summation of all X values and third, number of samples, summation of Y square values, summation of Y values and summation of X into Y values. You can use these modes accordingly. I will make tutorials on the next modes in future. Next, our shortcut method. <coughs> For that, in X values, find out the largest number, which is 96. Next, find out smallest number, which is 10. And subtract smallest from the largest, which is 86 for x and for y, largest number is 90 and smallest number is 10. So the difference is 80. Since the difference is less for y, you can say the standard deviation for y will also be lower as we derived by the process. So our answer is since the SD or standard deviation of batsman y is lower, he was more consistent in scoring. How can we say that? The meaning of standard deviation is that he was deviating from his central value. The lower the uh, standard deviation, the less the deviation. And you can say less the deviation, he was more consistent. That is the meaning of standard deviation. So friends, this was the tutorial. If you like the video or the video has helped you by any means, please like it. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash sujoy n70. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you can keep in touch with me and get updates whenever I upload my next video.